Tell me if I'm going to hit anything. <laughs> You're right for a bit. Hello, I'm at Gaiden. I've just driven down to Gaiden. Look at this lovely uh, Chevy truck. It's um, nice to see one that isn't lowered and is sitting on cross ply tyres, what we call cross plies, bias ply tyres. Really, really nice. Good condition, you know, excellent condition. Nice inside as well. Mmm, yes, very good. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's very nice. What else have we got then? Some sort of, um, oh, what is it? Uh, Plymouth, I'm going to say Plymouth, could be wrong. Yeah, it's got the Superbird emblems on the windows. UK Mopars, find us on Facebook. A little BMW. Jensen and a Jag. I'm going to have a quick look under the bonnet of this um, Rover because I don't know if it's a V8 version. It's a Jag and a Range Rover and a nice E Type. Nice E Type here, look. Appears to be um, running uh, no front number place. For forgive my ignorance, mate. Um, <laughs> obviously, I, I can see a Mustang badge. This is the, the version of this model that had the Ford. V8, yeah. This is yeah. the V8. And so what was the model the called? 260, ZT260. So ZT260, ah. It's a 880 of them, 883 made. Yeah. Um, probably another, at least one or two here tonight. Anyway, there we go. There's um, a V8 powered Rover. Not very many about. <laughs> kind of at the, uh, the other end from where I normally am. There's that nice E-type. <laughs> I, um, I was just looking at this Lanchester and it turns out I know the owner from years ago, Dave. I'll have a chat with him when uh, he hasn't got a crowd around him. There's my old sedan there, look. Next to this uh, very nice uh, Rolls Royce. <laughs> very interesting, but uh, blimey. Oh, there's a nice old Volvo here, look. Nice colour. Nice condition as well. Look, right inside the grill, it's absolutely immaculate. There was a popular television series called The Saint, and he drove one of these. So when you look at these, anybody that knows that series will have the tune going through the mind. Very nice. Right, let's um, not dwell. Nice old E-type at the back there, look, Corvette, yellow Corvette. Nice. MGA. Corvette there in a subtle colour, I walked straight past it without even seeing it. 
I was speaking to a bloke around a Corvette. I wonder if it was this one. Can't remember. It's one of them um, Holdens, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, old dog there, look. Jensen. Boogie van there, look. Rover V8. Mini. I think this is the uh, this Lanchester uh, when I was just talking when I was just over there where David was with his Lanchester there was a man talking to him I think uh, <laughs> sorry for swinging around I think the man talking to David over there with his Lanchester owns that one here we go some nice minis here look you can always tell they're well looked after when they're really clean under the wheel arches that's nice, 10 inch wheels, Clubman. Nice blue there on that early job. Sliding windows. Button on the floor to start it. Very nice. And what we got here then? Another MGI over there, look. A couple of Triumph Heralds. Jag. What's it say on the back? Look at that, that's a decent badge, isn't it? XK150, winner Le Mans. V8. Right, well, we've got a big caddy over the back, look. Little um, Vauxhall Viva there. H, what they call a HA. Nice car. Vanguard Estate there, look. Aston Martin V8 there. Could be a six. I think this is that Alvis I was looking at last time. I was here. Not sure I showed that. Do a quick walk through. I did all the a lot of the development work on these. Supercharged Jag. I'm not going to stay too long tonight because uh, it's going to get dark relatively early. Little, uh, op oh, I don't know if it's an Opus, not sure. I think the Opuses were like two seaters. No, two doors. I think this is that little bike that I followed in. Not. Yeah, that's it. I followed this one in. That was the one you could see on my little movie driving in. How much to it is that? <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, it's got a light. I was a little bit surprised to see that. Right. Oh, a maxi. My old man had a couple of maxis. And a Vauxhall Viva SL. Oh, they're announcing the XJ13, so I'll whiz round here and I'll go up there and have a look at it. Well, 
Can that fit? Well, that's the one that was sort of copied as, um, uh, you know, uh, larder and those. Here's another Jag look. Nice. Wow, really nice actually. Okay. I think that's a Jaguar as well there. That's saloon. Corvette. A gaggle of bikes. Land Crab Rally Cars. I'll keep quiet so that we can hear the announcer. I think they are warming it up. on that clutch. <laughs> Went a long way, didn't I? <laughs> I saw it being driven at Myra. Um, one of the directors at the, uh, at the time took it uh, and did a few laps and it was really noisy. 
It didn't seem to be going very fast, really. It seems a bit off sound to me, that is. When, when was its time? When was its time? Uh, 60. Probably like 60. You know, you'd have to Google it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful looking car. up in Blackpool this weekend. Did you? Oh, it caused so a lot of interest. Oh wow, yeah. Well, yeah. Parked right by the tower and um, whenever yeah. you started it, you got a lot of interest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Don't talk to him. He can't hear you. Hello, Tom. <laughs> 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 Hello, Tom. Well, I'll charge for them now. <laughs> Do I have the rights to use that image? No. <laughs> the, yeah, the passenger must get quite warm. Well, he does. He doesn't have much bumps, but he bumps support. I'm, talk, I'm no talking about support. the cooling pipes. Yeah, there, aren't there's they? another one there as well. Isn't yeah. There? So, yeah. I don't think I worry too much about passengers. No. Nah. Oh, I'm touching it. I touched it anyway. <laughs> I touched the exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> a fella asked me, what, what year was this? I think it's 65, 66. Okay. Probably. Yeah, let's... Um, That's all on the website. If you yeah. if your phone's flash and does um, oh, okay, QR yeah. codes, yeah. you can scan that and go to the website. Yeah. Are you still filming? Yeah. I'm always filming. Scan this. I can't do it. Huh? I don't know how it works. Oh, My smartphone's much smarter than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wheels. <laughs> what a lovely looking car. <laughs> what a lovely looking car. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, that's what's that saying? That is registering some pressure, I think. Okay. Right. I'll turn the engine off. Right, brilliant. Okay, good. Right, um, that's uh, really good actually because I've just driven back from Gaiden, uh, which is about 25 mile, probably possibly more, at sort of 60. It's 65 mile an hour all the way. A proper Banzai run. It's not a lot of revs, but it's, you know, it's quite fast for an old car like this. You know, the car's 90 years old. And, um, it had oil pressure all the way home. That That's about 2,100 revs all the way back, non-stop. 
and um, I just had to stop down the road because of some traffic lights and I've just pulled into the garage and as you heard it idling there it's um, it's registering a small amount of pressure so I would say that my repair to the oil pump just those very small muds has made a difference and I would call that a, re a repair of success I enjoyed my little trip to Gaiden I've got some footage from Gaiden I got some footage of the XJ13, which is a superb car. You need to Google it. And if you um, Google XJ13 crash, you'll see what it was repaired from. No, it's fantastic. I had a, a great time and uh, had a good uh, chat with some mates, had a good laugh. Lots of interest in the car. And um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit hyped up from driving back. The car has performed brilliant. Um, Never missed a beat. Had plenty of oil pressure all the way with, you know, 2,000 revs on. It was all, not, not tons of oil pressure, but 20 PSI, fully warmed. You know, 10 PSI per 1,000 revs, you think? So, yeah, that's good, isn't it? Okay. Great. Um, Volvo box overdrive, fantastic. Brilliant. You know, I'd still be on the drive now if I didn't have the overdrive because I'd only be doing 50 instead of 65. Okay. Righto. Um, let's call it good at that then. So that's a good conclusion to the oil pump repair and a good run out in the car to Gaiden for the Gaiden Gathering September. Okay. Thanks for joining me in Mark's Garage then. Hope you found something interesting. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.